What's up everybody? The weekend is almost here and we're back with another video. So this week we have one more I want to see it. It's going to come right after this. So you ready for some intro music? Hit it. So while we were uh, visiting uh, our seasonal campsite, we actually got to meet the DC Connection uh, RV Club. And we also got to meet a lovely couple, Carolyn and George. So like uh, David has said, this is part of our Wanna See It uh, video. This is actually a Class A um, motor, coach. motor coach and it is phenomenal. So um, I hope you enjoy it. But right now, uh, George and Carolyn have invited us into their RV, their motorhome, <laughs> and I absolutely love it. So Carolyn's actually going to, she did some major upgrades that I love. So we are, she's actually going to uh, give us a tour of, uh, give us a tour of the rig. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to our home. Um, George and I uh, decided to uh, renovate our coach three years ago. Uh, we bought our Travel Supreme in, in 2006 and although we loved it as time went by we wanted to do some upgrades and so as our needs changed so I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of some of the things that we did. Um, we got our inspirational ideas from going to RV shows and seeing some of the newer coaches as, as our coach age so we just wanted to do some upgrades so I'll just give you a quick rundown. Okay, um, starting with on the front, we've done several things. Um, uh, the major thing that we did was put in uh, a new tile floor. Um, one of the things that with, with RVing, and a lot of RVers have a hard time with, is the fact that they have the carpeting and it's, it, it's, it's just horrible to keep clean. So what we did was we used residential tile. We went to Home Depot, we purchased the tile, and we had it put in. Uh, in addition to the tile being put in, we added cabinets on this side of the coach. And, uh, and the original coach did not have cabinets on that side. Um, and it was nice at first, but we found that we didn't have enough storage. Um, the people that did the renovation did a fantastic job matching the cabinets on both sides um, be, um, because they were the ones that originally built the uh, Travel Supremes who went out of business but they used the uh, the Amish people and did a wonderful job. Um, we also added a new sofa and as you can see um, right here and it, again the inspiration for the sofa was going to an RV show seeing it. Uh, my husband who is handy with things he um, measured it they had it shipped and we had it upholstered and he installed it. Um, Another part of renovation is we installed a, a backsplash, again, residential backsplash from Home Depot. The lighting that we added and upgraded, one of our friends um, who is a fellow RVer did some of the lighting for us under the cabinet and we added, put the glasses there uh, to add just, just to make it like home. As you go back, um, we added a fireplace. This originally was cabinetry and we wanted again to make it a homey feel so we had a fireplace installed and the fireplace was purchased by a friend of ours from Costco. So as you can see there's all sorts all kind of resources that you can use to upgrade your RV. You don't have to stick to just RV stuff. Um, as we go back refrigerator freezer is here. This is the original. Um, we, we choose not to have a residential refrigerator because of the, the reserve on batteries and so sometimes the, um, the residential refrigerator will pull on the batteries but that, that serves us purpose just fine. Um, we, back here is the bathroom. We have uh, the shower area which is an upgrade which my husband installed a new shower. That's not the original shower. He replaced the shower because we um, I think the original broke and so he um, he was handy and was able to replace that. Um, it's the toilet area. Uh, we don't have two bathrooms but we do have two sinks so which works great. Coming back to the bedroom we have um, this again one of the upgrades that we had we had an upholstered headboard and we had them 
make a headboard that matches exactly the cabinetry. Again, they did a wonderful job with that. Um, we also had, we replaced all the televisions and upgraded them to flat panels. So the original TV and the older TVs back in 2006 were large and they had the really big back. So when we put the flat panel, we had space. So to make use of the space, we now have a safe. Very nice. So coming back a little bit more, um, no upgrades here, uh, but this coach does have a washer dryer, which is great because we have a separate washer and dryer, which makes nice for long trips and you can keep up with the laundry. And then we have a closet that goes all the way across. Um, the bed is a king size bed and we have storage under the bed that we use. <coughs> um, last thing back here is my husband installed a ceiling fan. Again, one of the upgrades that we saw in the um, shows and it's just a nice feature when you don't have the air conditioner on or something in between there. So um, I think that's all on the inside. Uh, we did make some renovations on the outside. We did some upgrades. We installed a TV and had it painted and we installed a HD antenna which I love for the direct TV. So I think I got everything. I can't think of anything I missed, um, but um, thank you so much for joining us and coming to our home and um, hope to see you soon on the road. Hey, George and Carolyn, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. What a welcome. It is welcome. beautiful. You thank guys you. did thank a you. great job with the renovations. Thank you. Baby, I'm so sorry. This is probably just cost you some money. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see you guys later on this weekend as we go to uh, more of their events as well. So see you there. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was a Travel Supreme 2006 motor coach and that thing was beautiful. Great upgrades. It really was and Carolyn and George, thank you both so much. You just met us and you trusted us enough to come inside and video your home and yes. we really do appreciate that. Thank yes, we you. Do. Our next I Want to See It video, uh, we got to actually meet someone else from the DC uh, Connection RV Club, and that's Dr. Cynthia Richardson and her husband, John Richardson. Yep. They invited us into their home as well, and we got to see their Grand Design Momentum uh, Toy Hauler, uh, yeah. another very nice rig. So, yep. you, so that's uh, going to come up soon. Yep, exactly. Yep. Can't promise next week, but it'll be coming up soon. <laughs> All right. So that concludes this week's video. And before we end, I just want to say if you're watching this on May 17th, we want to say to all the mothers out there, Happy Mother's Day. That's right. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, Mother's Day just passed. So uh, we are getting up there with our subscribers. We thank you so much once again. Yay. Uh, we're heading towards 1,200 subscribers. We really appreciate that. We just want to ask that you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if this is your first time watching us. And we will see you in the future. All Thank right? you all so much for those who are watching this and have already subscribed. We yes. appreciate you. Always. So, 
it's the end of our video so we just want to say here's hoping that you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend we'll see you next time bye Sorry. Okay. Next. What's next? You tell me. Oh. <laughs>